Uh, it's a tradition unlike any other here on Philly's pregame live, the fifth annual Ricky Awards, better known as the Rickies. It's always an exciting day. I'm happy to be here. Ricky, we had a wardrobe change. That's how big this day is. You've, you've got, a got a tie on. I put a longer dress on, but let's get started with our first award. Uh, I can't wait to hear more about this. It is the Gus the Groundhog Keep on Scratching Award. This is your favorite award, Ricky. Tell us about the award. And who the winner is. Yeah, this is one of those awards that goes to somebody who's kind of per persevered through some adversity. And w when you look at this season, you're going to understand when I tell you the winner because we'll give out the winner right now. And the winner is Zach Eflin. Zach Eflin, why? You think about what he did. You think about the injuries that he went through. He was a starting pitcher uh, for most of the season. He comes back, and now all of a sudden, they put him in the bullpen, not only in middle mm -hmm. relief to start, but now the guy closes out the clincher in Houston. Mm. I think he's got, he could be a very big part of this team heading into the postseason. Uh, we also have our trophies here, which we will be handing Beautiful out, obviously, trophies. to the winner uh, at some point in the near future, we hope. Our next award is the Michael Barkan Master Your Mind Award. Give us some details on this one. Ma <laughs> Master Your Mind. This all came from Nick Pavetta's mm -hmm. Twitter back when from Michael Barkan. You know, he loved Nick Pavetta yes. and used to read up on his social media. And this is just one of those things where you know what? You, you have to master your mind. And a guy who has mastered his mind, the winner of this one is... Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. Why? Do you remember? I know you I, remember. Well, yes. I can't really say exactly what he said. Yes. But. Early on in the season, he had a little issue in a ball game where he had three errors. And during that ball game, he gave us a nice little uh, thought on how he thought. felt about the fans there oh, in fun. Philadelphia and about the stadium there in Philadelphia. But persevered through that, got through that, apologized to the fans, mm -hmm. told them exactly what he felt. And all of a sudden, he's off and going and has a great season going for the Phils. Great season. Yep. All right, moving on to the right stuff. This is a new award this year, Ricky. Yeah, I mean, this is just one of those awards that you look, look at, and he's just done everything for you this year. And the funny thing is, like, just having the right stuff. You know, that one of the guys came over uh, through free agency. It's a tie, actually. Oh, I just kind of dropped a hint on that. And, and, the, and the other one's been here for a, a while, but they gave you the right stuff. Right. And the winners are Reese Hoskins. Kyle Schwarber. Mm. And you think about the seasons both of these guys had. They were very impressive. Uh, Reese is just one of those guys, when he gets streaky, it could be fantastic uh, for, for long spurts. And then you look at Kyle Schwarber. Mm. I mean, come on. The first, for, what was his first at-bat this season? He goes deep, and he went on that tear in June. And guess what? He's getting back on it right Absolutely. now with two home runs the other, other night in Houston. Everything going in the right direction for both of these guys. Right direction for the there right you go. stuff. Uh, this one is the best first impression award. Important to note, this isn't about Twitter impressions, which I know you're big on, Ricky. Oh uh, no, I'd be the winner. I'd exactly. take home you, all the trophies. You love Twitter impressions. Unlike other events that I don't get a trophy in. Listen, you, we can give you one of these if you uh, want. The, I, well, it's close enough. It is gold. It is gold. Right. Genuine. Well, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, well. The, the, the winner of this award, it, it's pretty simple. It's, it's a rookie, a guy that, that came up. Actually, he went through some adversity also. I'm going to give the winner Bryson Stott. Reason being, come on, this guy has done it all. He's been clutch, especially when Bryce Harper went down. Uh, this is a guy that was part of the daycare. Mm -hmm. he, he stepped up, he's done some nice things, and now all of a sudden what he's turned into is a ball player because he's playing some pretty good defense for the most part. He's doing what he's asked of him. He's a, he's a smart baseball player. He's got nice baseball IQ, and I think th this is the one guy to keep your eye on in years to come because I think he's only going to get it better and better as the, as the years kind of roll along because I think he's going to be here for a long time on top of it. Good first impression there. Yes. Our next award... The Gabe Kapler Profiled Well, another award special here for you, obviously named after the former manager. Yeah, and, and, the, and the one thing is Gabe used to give us a lot of stuff in, in uh, his press conferences after the game, but Profiled Well was always one of my yes, favorites. Was. And this guy, uh, he kind of went through some adversity as well. And, and this, is, this has been going on for a bunch of these Phillies. But this guy came out on the other side, and he has profiled extremely well. The winner is Jose Alvarado. Tell me, tell me this guy 
has not turned his, not only his season around, but he may have very well turned his whole uh, career back around in a n very nice direction. Agreed. Went down to AAA after getting bombarded at the big league level for a while. Went down there, not just briefly, but when he came back, he came back with a cutter mm -hmm. that has been his bread and butter pitch. And trust me, a lot of people look at him and say he's just a fastball pitcher. Well, he added this cutter into his repertoire, and he is no longer a joke. He is a beast in this Phillies bullpen right now, not just in the Phillies bullpen, but in the league. Absolutely. All right, last but definitely not least, the Phillies' most valuable player, who do you have for the MVP for the Phillies? Well, let, let's just say this was not an easy one mm -hmm. because when you think about it, there was a lot going on this season. Kyle Schwarber kind of carried the team for a good portion of it, but this guy, he's done it all offensive, offensively, defensively, a little bit of everything, and the winner is JT Real Muto. And the, you think about what he's done. I mean, once again, went through some adversity. Yeah. How many of these guys have gone start. through some adversity, some, some downfalls, some bad play, and then all of a sudden he started picking it up. And when he did, I mean, they're MVP type numbers of the league since he's been, since he got it going. And the number one, he's hitting for some power now. I remember joking early in the season, this guy doesn't have any RBIs. He's not a run producer. Now all of a sudden, the RBI total's gone up. He's over 20 home runs. 2020 stolen bases mm -hmm. and home runs. Only the second catcher ever uh, with Pud, Rodri Pud, Pud Rodriguez to ever do it. So congratulations, JT. You are the Phillies MVP. Congratulations to all of this year's 2022 Ricky's winners. It's my, it's, but I'm so happy to be here. Keep on scratching. Keep on so accurate.